everyone, I'm Joelle St. Germain, and today's talk is on forgiveness. Now it's brought up that if you did something wrong, you say you're sorry and somebody forgives you, or at least you hope they forgive you. And for me, that's the first part of it. But it wasn't until 9-11 when I was in my office and they had the news on that I saw the first World Trade Center get hit and then the second plane go into the, the second World Trade Center building. And of course, everybody's in shock and upset, but for some reason, I felt completely at peace and I heard Jesus say, forgive them for they know not what they do. And I know for a lot of people that would be hard to understand. I mean, this was an act of terrorism. How can we forgive them for that? But in that moment, I realized that for me, by not forgiving another person or another event or anything from happening, that I was robbing myself of my own peace. So I started looking at my life where I had robbed myself of peace. And I realized I was holding a lot in. And so I started looking at how I could forgive others. So I looked at different circumstances in my life, things that people had done that I thought they had done to me and things that I had done to other people. And I started writing a list of all the people I would like to forgive. And so I started going down the list and it wasn't until years later doing a theta process that I actually really got into it. But the easiest thing for me to do was to write a list of all the people and then go one by one and ask God to help me forgive. And once I got through all those, I felt better, but there was still something missing. So I started tracking it more and I realized that I wasn't forgiving me, that the anger that I had and the resentments was actually towards myself for the most part. It was, why did I allow this to happen? Why did I put myself in the, that circumstance? Why would I ever allow someone to say that to me or to hurt me like that or take advantage of me? Why did I not stand up for myself and stand my own ground? Why did I let this happen? And I realized in that moment that I needed to forgive me more so than anybody else. And as I started to do that, I would look at the circumstances and it, you know, everything in our life is a layer. It's like an onion and you can go through the different layers of healing. And I started healing by forgiving me. So if something came up and I felt something with somebody, I'd look back at what I was really feeling. Was I upset at that person or was I really upset at me? So I got through all that and I felt so much better. And then I realized that I still had some resentments and I didn't understand why. And then I started going back and going really, you know what this was? I wasn't forgiving God. I actually was upset with God for allowing any of this to happen to me. Now we have free will and I understand that. But part of me as a little kid, a little child inside of me was thinking God was supposed to save me from all this. Why would God let this happen to me? And I realized that it was me. But at the same time, I was resenting and angry at God. So I had to forgive God. And then get through that, just like I would forgive anybody else. But then it had to come back once again to me. Because in the end, it was all about me. So my suggestion and my recommendation in hopes is that you look at your life and you look at all those people that you would like to forgive and the people that you wouldn't like to forgive and realize that in forgiving, you're bringing peace to yourself. And then see what resentments you have towards yourself and even towards God or to your parents or anybody else and really let them go. In the big scheme of things, our peace is what's more important than anything else. There's an old saying, and it took me a long time to understand this one. Do you want to be right or do you want to have peace? And I was always like, I want to be right. And I realized that that's the same thing. Do you want to have peace in your life? You don't necessarily have to be in a relationship with that person. If they did something horrendous to you, definitely understand not wanting to be in the relationship with them, not wanting to have them around. But at the same time, forgive them and forgive yourself. It really, really helps. That's only my suggestion. I hope it works for you. I mean, go inside, see if it resonates. If it doesn't, that's fine too. But if it does resonate, I hope the experience is amazing for you and that you find the peace you're looking for. Many blessings to you all. Until next time, this is Joelle St. Germain.